Mastering cardinal numbers 11 to 20. Shopping with confidence. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our channel, where we're on a journey to master the English language together. Today, we are going to focus on using cardinal numbers 11 to 20 in real life situations, specifically in the context of money and shopping. Let's dive into some fun and practical scenarios that will help solidify your understanding. Before we dive into the shopping scenarios, let's quickly review our numbers from 11 to 20. Knowing these numbers well is a critical skill for any shopping experience. 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. Make sure to practice these until you're comfortable with them. Now let's put those numbers to work. We're going to practice shopping scenarios that commonly involve numbers 11 to 20. Scenario 1. Buying fruits. Imagine you're at a fruit stand. You want to buy 13 apples. You could say, I would like 13 apples, please. Scenario 2. Purchasing clothes. Let's say you're buying clothes. You find a nice shirt that costs $17. You would tell the cashier, I'll take the shirt that costs $17. Scenario 3. Ordering at a restaurant. You're at a restaurant and want to order number 15 from the menu. You could say, I'll have number 15, please. Each of these scenarios is a perfect way to practice numbers 11 to 20 in a real-world context. To make this lesson even more effective, Let's engage in an interactive exercise. I'll present you with a scenario, and you'll respond using numbers 11 to 20. 1. You're at a bakery and want to buy 16 cupcakes. What do you say? 2. You're at a bookstore. The book you want is $12. How do you tell the cashier? 3. You're at a concert and you're looking for seat 19. How do you ask for directions? Feel free to pause the video to think about your responses, and then resume to compare them with the suggested responses. And that wraps up our lesson on using cardinal numbers 11 to 20 in shopping and money-related scenarios. Remember, the key to learning is practice, practice, practice. Try to use these numbers in your daily life, whether you're at the grocery store or counting items at home. We hope you found this lesson helpful, and we're excited to see you in the next one. Happy learning!